outside of the scarecrows. Well, let's just square them away as best we can as we go forward, okay? those dark creatures be after I'm sorry child there are just so many things that mama doesn't know be there are so many mysteries in the cage aren't there will hold another part of the weapon's memory. Done with their hunting, the black-haired sisters decide to return home before dusk. The younger has caught a small bunny, and the elder a large boar. It is a typical day of hunting for the pair. to the hill that overlooks the town. Flames billow forth, and the chilling snaps of distant gunfire can be heard. The woman immediately thinks of the war that is raging in the neighboring nation. She tells her sister to stay put, and goes to see what has happened for herself. The town is oddly still, save for the incessant crackle of flames. The woman gasps as she takes in the grisly sight before her. All she can see are bodies. Bodies. Bodies.
Enemy forces sighted. I've got enough death for everyone. After defeating the soldier, she hears a voice. Her worried sister has followed her into the fires of the village. Enemy soldiers cry out all around them. As the woman feared, the war from the nearby nation has finally found them. Strange and fearsome men surround them on all sides. Impact. Heat. Pain. Her little sister screams. As the woman's consciousness flickers out, two words from a soldier reach her ears. Sort them. I see. This weapon speaks of war. I suppose it's rare for the memories in these weapons to be peaceful ones. That's a little sad. I shall take care of them. Continuing mission. I've got enough death for everyone.
Commencing mission. Continuing mission. This room is a bit strange, isn't it? Can you see down there? There are so many paths going every which way. It's like a maze. I wonder where the other paths lead. The black-haired woman regains consciousness in a world enveloped by haze. She hears a faint voice. It sounds similar to her little sister's voice, but also different. Wrong. My sister. I have to save my sister. The woman's dim memory slowly become clear. The blow she'd taken, her sister screaming, the soldier's words. Her only sister, her only family. She must save her. As she runs, the woman's world is enveloped in a shimmering wall of white. When the woman wakes anew, she is lying on the floor of an unfamiliar prison. Something is terribly wrong. She looks down at her body and stifles a gasp. One arm and one leg have been replaced by mechanical substitutes. And her black hair is now as white as snow. Where is my sister? She dashes off through the dim prison in search of her missing sibling. She dispatches both her cell door and its guard with equal ease. Only then does she realize the truth. Her body is now a terrible weapon. As this knowledge sinks in, darkness envelops her.
I'll cut down everything in my way. Enemy reinforcements confirmed. Eliminating. When she interrogates the dying guard about her sister, he grins madly and says, Our kingdom will invade all. Every country will bend the knee to our might. Then we'll experiment on the survivors and turn them into beautiful killing machines. Oh yes, they will be sorted. With these final words, the soldier dies. The woman begins to run. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. She repeats the mantra as she runs, praying that somehow her sister has escaped this fate. of the woman in this weapon. She lost her arm and leg because of her dark past. I've got enough death for everyone. Commencing mission. I've got enough death for everyone. Continuing mission. That was...
Looks like that monster ran off somewhere. Anyway, the next memory we find will be the last for this part of the cage. We're almost there, child. Just keep going. 